Tones and Yu Ping. As mentioned elsewhere in these pages, I find the pronunciation and recognition of the tones in Chinese to be the most difficult aspect of learning. Perhaps this is because I have a poor musical ear. It took me several months of playing guitar before I could hear the difference between an E and M chord. Unfortunately, the tones are absolutely critical if you are hoping to be understood. You might think that you can rely on the listener being able to interpret your meaning from the context of the sentence, but this is not always the case. Many, many similar sounding words in Cantonese have conflicting meanings, which is a great source of ex exasperation for students struggling with an already difficult language. Consider for example buy and sell. These are pronounced may and may. How this doesn't result in total confusion when trading is currently beyond me, but I am living in hope that it will all become clear eventually. Interestingly or infuriatingly, many words can have identical sounds and tones, but mean one of several things, depending on the context. A quick glance at an online Cantonese dictionary shows that fo has characters that can mean fire, plenty, droplet, colleague, and a numerical classifier for trees. It is worth noting that other languages have homophones as well, e.g. in English, bow and bow, guilt and guilt, coarse and coarse, four and four, etc. Another problem is that many common words can mean some fairly offensive swear words if they are <laughs> pronounced in a certain tone. For example, there are a number, two number between 1 and 10 which can easily amuse or offend your audience if you are not careful. Of course, if you get several tones in your sentence wrong, you will just end up speaking complete gibberish. Don't worry, this is all part of the fun of learning the language. The romanization system for representing tones and pronunciation on this website is Yutping, sometimes spelled Yupin or Yupping. It uses six numbers to represent the tones. They are tone one, high level flat or falling, e.g. Fa, bing. Fa, bing. Tone two, rising to high level, e.g. To. To. Hoi. Hoi. Tone three, mid level flat, e.g. Sai. Sai. Hey. Hey. Let me close this shit. Closey, closey, closey. I could leave it open, but no. Tone four, low level falling, e.g. Lum. Lum. Woo. Woo. Tone five, rising to mid level, e.g. No. No. Ye. Ye. Tone six, low level flat, e.g. Hi. Hi. Din. Din. Low, mid, and high represent the tonal range of the speaker, so speak tone six words as deep as you can whilst still sounding natural. Tone three words should be in your normal speaking voice, and tone one words should be higher. Don't exaggerate these tones, though. Speaking tone one words as if you have inhaled helium isn't advisable. Throughout the site, you will find audio samples of words, sentences containing all the different tones. Please see common tone mistakes. The pitfalls of using the wrong tone. If any comfort to people who are struggling with learning Cantonese, my current level of ability is to speak using only three tones consciously, normal, high, and low. In practice, I probably get more tones than this correct by unconsciously mimicking my teachers or people I've heard. My speaking is pretty poor, though. This is an ongoing essay. Please send this. So, don't worry if you get it wrong. Be careful when you're saying numbers, but if you do get punched in the face, you'll know why. You said the wrong tone.